This is a story about a place I once knew. The place where I was born. We're sharing a taxi with the locals. The place I once called home. I'm Christian Escobar, and Hostel World has given me the opportunity to go back, rediscover, and familiarize myself with my home country. Before we get into this, though, let me give you my backstory. I was born in Colombia back in 1989, and as you might remember, this was the era of crime, drugs, and pretty much this man. Pablo Escobar. As a kid, my only image of Colombia was that of what was happening around me. I was confined to the small town that I was from and frankly, I didn't know any better. At the age of 10, I moved to London with my mother and my two sisters. <laughs> this is actually the day we left. And as for Colombia, I haven't been back since. Until now. Okay. So I've just arrived at the airport. This is gonna be one crazy adventure. I seriously can't wait to see what happens. The plan for this trip is to explore all the places I never got to visit as a kid. We'll be starting on the north side in Santa Marta, then headed down to Minca, Tirona, Cartagena, Medellin and Salento as the main popular destinations in Colombia. Finally here. So yeah, gracias. El extranjero que, que le tiene mucho miedo por, por, sí. por, la, por la, la historia de Pablo Escobar, pero eso es como hace mucho, mucho tiempo, ¿no? Y Colombia ha cambiado mucho. Entonces, ¿qué, lo, qué le diría a la gente que, que le tiene miedo, pero quieren venir, pero le tiene mucho miedo a venir a conocer? Que pierdan el miedo. Pierdan el miedo. Colombia como tal... Eh, es un país muy próspero sí. y cada día está mejorando en infraestructuras, en vías, en desarrollo, sí. en seguridad. Sí. El temor que deben tener los extranjeros en venir aquí a Colombia es que no vuelvan más a su país porque queden enamorados de esta ciudad. And with that said, I was ready to take on Colombia. Getting to our accommodation in Minca required a 30-minute bike ride up the mountain. We stayed at Casa Elemento, known for its prolific hammock nettings that overlook the town of Minca and the city of Santa Marta. We just arrived here at Parque Tairona, which is a national park here in Colombia. Beautiful. The only catch is that you have to sleep in a, either a tent or a hammock. I've chosen to stay in a hammock tonight. You have to try everything once in your life, right? Tirona offers you the most refreshing experience with nature. From waking up to the ocean breeze, to trekking through the jungle, and witnessing beautiful panoramic sunsets. La gente se enamora de este país, como le pasó a mi madre y como le pasa a muchos extranjeros. Entonces, por favor vengan y des en cuenta que es un país hermoso y gracias a Dios cada vez más seguro. Cartagena is known for being a cultural hub full of color. It has adapted well to modern day tourism, providing beautiful photo opportunities, amazing nightlife and incredible weather all year round. So right now we're on our way to the mud volcano where this man right here is going to be taking the mud volcano challenge. We just landed in Medellin, which means the start of a new adventure and new things to do. Medellin is, for me, in the most beautiful cities, the most beautiful city of Colombia. It's a city that gives you absolutely everything. Tenemos un clima perfecto. No es muy frío, no es muy caliente, es como en la mitad, es perfecto. We just finished the Comuna 13 tour. And one thing that I learned is that when I first got there, I was kind of scared to get my cameras out and film the experience. But after being there, I feel like people are really humble. But there's nothing to be scared about. You know, so far I've gotten my cameras out in 
Colombia all the time and I'm still I'm filming this so it's just been it's been fun honestly the Colombia has changed a lot you're making a mess yeah. like a five-year-old yeah. let me see what the fuck is that <laughs> get your draw straight line this looks amazing kind of wish we were on that side so we can enjoy the experience a lot better but... We have some hot springs here in Colombia and these are the bad boys. They look incredible. Climbing La Piedra de Peñol, which is up there, but we're going the really long way. So, has it changed my mind? This trip to Colombia was surely an eye-opener for me. It offered way more wonderful things that I could have ever imagined. From the breathtaking landscapes, delicious food, the fun travelers that I met along the way on my travels, and the incredible locals who were always willing to put a smile on your face. This whole experience changed my mind about Colombia. And I can honestly say that I've never felt more welcome. And most importantly, I've never felt more at home. Right. It is right, but she's over here. Oh. Two freeze. And then like someone's got a free freeze. Yeah, they pay no But then if you yeah, if you call that So we wake up early uh, to get a picture of this bad boy in the sunrise, but there is no sunrise because everything's really foggy at the moment. 